Hello friends, welcome to another video and in this video we will be discussing TCS and QT advanced coding question of day 2 slot 1. So this question is very important for all of you who are up, about to appear in NQT and see if you want uh, to be selected as a digital candidate so try to solve the coding question and this co coding question is based on a general algorithm which is sliding window okay and uh, it could be repeated because this algorithm is very popular and you could get a question like that so try to understand the question try to understand the logic and uh, for the code i will discuss in c++ also and python also okay and uh, for all of you who want the code in java i will put it in the comment section so try to go through it logic will be uh, same just i will uh, write the code in java in comment section okay and uh, for the question i have uh, put it in the simplest form so that it will save our time so try to learn the question i will make you understand in very simple manner so the question is like this there are n rooms in a hotel starting from 1 to n each room has some gold coin you have to choose two rooms entry and exit and collect all the coins between that room including a and b and you have to find the value of a and b such that the coin collected from rooms a to b is exactly k so instead of reading this let us go through the diagram so uh, you input will be given like this this is n how many rooms are there this is k k basically means how many gold coins is needed okay and these are the rooms having the gold coin so this room has three gold coin 17 2 4 4 8 so these are the room now the question is you have to print two points or uh, two, two point will be one is entry and one is exit such that if you add all the gold coins between that two point it should be equal to this k so if you go through this uh, uh, array you will get the answer so answer will be this 244 so this will be the starting point and this will be the ending point so you should print the output as 3 5 this will be our answer for this test case so why 3 5 because we will start from this one and we will go up to this one this will be our en entry and this will be our exit point because if you add all the coins between these two uh, three so 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 4 10 so it is exactly equals to k and that is the question so i hope you got the question question is very simple now in uh, coding term it is basically the question is like this find the sub array having sum of the coins as k so this is the question in coding term and if you are aware this is also a sub array sub array basically means a part of the array so this is one, uh, full array take any part of it it will be sub array but it should be continuous so from starting from here to here it could be one starting from here up to here it could be one so you have to find which one you will select such that if you add all the gold coins it will be exactly k so in this case you could see this will be our answer this will be the summary okay so this is the question and uh, for all of you i have uh, if you are not aware sub array is basically as i told you part of array so for sub array it is very simple just uh, select one starting point one ending point and go continuously so 3 itself is one sub array 3 to 17 is another so all these red lines you can see could be one sub array so 3 to 17 could be another 3 to 2 could be another and uh, up to 4 also it could be another starting from 17 go up to 4 it is another sub array so take any two points and go continuously that is one sub array so this is our question so we have to say which sub array will have exactly k coins now if there are more than one possible solution then in that case you have to output the answer having lesser a values now what this, does this mean so let me give you an example so let us say i have uh, three rooms and five gold coins and coins are like this one four one now in this case can you say me what will be the answer or which sub array 
सो यू कुड से ओके दिस कुड बी वन दिस कुड बी वन बोथ कैन बी अवर एंसर बिकॉज दिस इफ यू एड ऑल द गोल्ड क्वेंस इट इज ऑल्सो फाइव एग्जैक्टली फाइव एंड इफ यू एड दिस टू इट इज ऑल्सो एग्जैक्टली फाइव सो इन दैट केस यू हैव टू प्रिंट दैट वन हुज स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट कम फर्स्ट सो दिस विल बी द एंसर सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू गेट द क्वेश्चन बेसिकली यू हैव टू फाइंड द सब एरे हैविंग सम एग्जैक्टली इक्वल टू के ओके सो नाउ दिस वॉज द क्वेश्चन नाउ सी हाउ टू अप्रोच दिस सो रिगार्डिंग द इनपुट आई टॉक अबाउट यू about it so these two lines will be given n and k and then all the coins you have to print output like this so in this case sample test case 2 and 4 so we will start from 2 and if we go up to 4 this sub array will be answer because if you add all the coins 5 plus 1 6 plus 6 14 it is exactly 14 so this is the question all about now see how to solve this okay now you will you would say that why not we will apply two for loop and we will solve it uh, like uh, first for loop will start from here and we check all the sub array so start from here check uh, one length two length three length so on start from here check one length two length three length and so on so see it could be answer but there could be time limit exceeding tle you could get i am not aware of it because it depends on question how much but it is possible that you know the optimized solution so in this case we will be discussing in order of n solution so within one loop we will solve this question no need to apply two loops okay so now you have to listen carefully so how to approach this okay so i have taken another uh, test case here number of uh, rooms is 4 and uh, k value is 5 so we want five coins exactly five coins and for that we want to see which sub array will be the answer so how to approach this so the logic is case one i have given that assume that the answer has starting point 1 uh, starting index 0 now see for the answer it could be either starting from here go up to somewhere or starting from here go up to somewhere that could be only be answer so better to start from index 0 i am thinking that okay let us say i have this answer whose starting point will be here and will go up to somewhere so that way we are starting so this we will solve with the help of two pointer so this green pointer will say the starting point initial point and this red pointer will say up to what we have to go or the final point because see in sub array we just want one initial point and one final point so that we have to calculate so in this case this will be initial point with green and this will be final point so initially both initial and final will be same we are starting and now we will keep one counter some one any variable just variable name i have given and this counter will count how many coins we have collected because because we want exactly k so let us start we started from here and we got the collection as 2 so we collected two gold coins now we want five so we want more gold coins so initial will remain here but final i will i will say okay final i will say final to move more because we want more coins so to move to next room so in the second case here you can see here here you can see uh, it remains here initial point and final moved to next index so again we uh, got some more coins now our coin collection be, uh, rise to 4 so we got four gold coins but we want five so we want more so again i will say my final uh, pointer to move further so now final pointer will move here up to four so again we collected some more coins we, so we move to next room so now we collected eight coins so see we keep we kept on adding so 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 4 8 now we have to decide okay so now eight coins we have collected but we want only five it means if i think that initial could be here starting from here and going further i thought which is wrong because if i start from here and will uh, when i came up to here i got eight coins which is more than k i wanted only five but i got eight 
सो इज देर एनी पॉइंट इन मूविंग मोर फर्दर नो वाई बिकॉज द नंबर ऑफ क्वाइंस इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव यू कैन सी एट लास्ट लाइन आई बी गिवन नंबर ऑफ गोल्ड क्वाइंस इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव सो इफ आई मूव मोर फर्दर आई विल कीप ऑन एडिंग मोर क्वाइंस सो इज देर एनी पॉइंट इन इट बिकॉज वी वॉन्टेड ओनली फाइव बी ऑलरेडी गॉट एट एंड इफ यू स्टिल गो एड एड we will get some more coins will we get the answer no so it means i concluded that starting point from here will not be our answer starting from here we will never get exactly k coins so now here comes the next logic now what i will say okay starting from here we will not get the savere so do one thing start from here and then see if we will get or not because this is normal logic starting from here not possible then remove this and start from here so the same thing i have done it after collecting eight coins the moment you exceed k we will move the initial pointer one more step so initially i thought that initial could be here but now i shifted it to next room okay because we don't think from here we will get the answer we have verified it so now initial will come to first index but final will remain here okay now comes the sliding window logic now sliding window what it does it tell that okay i know that from starting from index 0 we will not get the answer so we have started from index 1 but again do we have to calculate everything no because it is saying that from here to here we calculated how many coins we have like eight coins so if i removed this two then no need to calculate from again from here because already know we already know the sum from here to here so once you calculated the sum up to here so just remove this the moment you remove this we will get the sum from here to here so uh, up till this uh, index i had eight coins now i will just remove this so subtract this the moment i subtract this why i have subtracted this because i no longer need this because our pointer started from here initial pointer so we subtracted two so again our sum become six okay so here comes the logic of this was the logic of sliding window sliding window says that if you calculated something no need to calculate it again so if uh, i have the sum from here to here from uh, here to here i also have the sum from here to here just subtract this and then i will get the sum from index 1 to 2 so this is sliding window now now we moved uh, we know that now we will start from index 1 now the sum is 6 which is still greater than 5 so the moment you have the sum greater than k again shift the initial point because from 2 to 6 2 to 4 we already got 6 so no point is there in moving further because we will keep on adding the coin and already we have ex exceeded the limit so there is no point in moving further so again we will move the initial pointer only so now instead of this 4 instead of uh, initial pointer here now initial pointer came here so now we are trying that okay from here it is not possible so let us see whether we will get a sub array from here or not so this has become our initial and for the sum since we moved the initial pointer then we will subtract two also so the sum was six and then we will subtract two so our new sum will be four someone equals to 4 now we have initial here now the moment you get the you get less number of coins then k now we will move the final pointer again so now the final pointer was here and we have less coin so we want to move further collect more and more coins so now the final pointer came at the last index here so add it so 4 plus 1 5 and we got exactly 5 coins which is the answer
which we wanted so our answer will be 3 4 so this was the sub array we selected so i hope you got the logic so this was the logic now we will with the help of code also we will try to learn <sighs> okay so this was all about now see with the help of code so this was the sliding window logic now if you see the code uh, it, first i will discuss in python and then c++ so at first uh, we will have two input n and k so this the first line i took the input n and k then the next line i took all the gold coins stored in an array a and then initialize i equals to 0 j equals to 0 sum 1 equals to 0 now the c the code is simple there is one while loop and there is three if else and finally one inner while loop okay now now what we are doing so let me take one more case so take this uh, one example only so it was two two four one four five two two four one okay with the help of code now we will see now what i am saying i am saying simply that one will be our initial pointer one will be our final pointer and if we have less number of coins increase the final pointer move further and try to add more coins so the same thing i have written this while loop will run j equals to zero j will be basically the final pointer so initially the final pointer is zero now this final pointer will go up to n and we will keep adding the gold coins so you can see sum one plus equals to aj so we will add the gold coins in sum one and if we get exactly k gold coins suppose if we get exactly k gold coins then we will print value of i and j and then break it like uh, let me say that if uh, there is one test case like two one one two so we want one number of coins so we started from here and in the first loop only we got k coins so no need to go further we will break the loop we will print i and j i plus one y because there is one based indexing so we will print i j break it now else if we have someone someone is basically the coin we have collected now the coin we have collected if it is less than k it means we want more coins so we will increase j j is basically final coin final pointer so it is like this we started from 2 our sum is 2 which is less than 5 so i'm saying okay move the final pointer more we want more coins so initially we have less coins only two then we move the final pointer one step further so that we can collect more coins that's why j plus equals to one final pointer increased but so equal to k then we got it less than k then we got it now what will happen if i get the number of coins greater than k so let me give you an example so uh, in this case we added at first we added two then again we added two so we got four coins which is less than five so we again added four now the moment you added this four the coins became two plus two four plus four eight so which is uh, it has become eight but we wanted only five so we have more number of coins so we will try deleting the coins or removing removing the coin from back okay from initial pointer we will try to remove one by one so that the value could be decreased so the same thing i have written now there is one while loop while loop because we will keep on decreasing till we get the coin less than k it is like this so we have accumulated eight number of coins and we want only five so there is only one choice we have to reduce some coin so we will reduce two we will reduce this uh, first coin means uh, this two so eight minus two is six now still it is greater than five so again we will reduce this also so we got six minus two four so in this way there is one while loop i have applied which will keep on running 
till we get the coin less than k so as you can see this is a while loop so this while loop will run until the coin we have collected is greater than k because we have to make less than k so if it is greater than k we will keep on decreasing the initial pointer so someone minus equals to ai okay and then increase i because see it is 2 to 4 so we collected 8 coins let me make one another diagram so it was 2 to 4 1 2 to 4 1 it was 4 and then what was it 5 so 2 to 4 1 so we collected up to here up to 4 we had collected so up to 4 we had collected and the coin or someone was Eight. so we have more coins we wanted only five but we have more coins so we will ask the initial pointer to remove the coin so that's why we had this someone minus equals to ai ai is initial one i is initial one so we will decrease it and then we will increase i because initially the i was here so we decreased it we removed two so now someone become six and we will increase our i now our initial will come here now again 6 is greater than 5 now we will reduce remove this also and again i will shift here so now uh, someone become 4 now someone if it become 4 then we will increase our final pointer so this was the logic so we decreased it now after decreasing again we will check so okay i had more coins i removed some coin now is it become equal to k or not so if it became equal to k we will print i and j and then we will break it now why j equals to 1 because this break will break this while loop but for this while loop to terminate we put j equals to 1 so that we will terminate outer while loop also because we got the answer so this was the code all about <sighs> okay so i hope you understand it try to if you did not understand so try to watch it again so the logic is simple I will again uh, at last I will discuss so let us first move to C++ code so the same code I have just converted into C++ but before that let me run some test cases so let me try running 4 5 2 2 4 1 so 4 5 2 2 4 1 okay so we got 3 and 4 it means initial will be here final will be here and if you add 4 plus 1 5 we got 5 so this will be the sub area now try some more cases where is it okay so try this one it will be lengthy okay so try some random one so let us say i have uh, 2 10 6 10 okay so we got 2 2 because we wanted 10 coins and we will be if you give the starting and ending both two then we will get the 10 coins so this position will be starting also and ending also and number of coin is 10 so in this way you can try it yourself also you can try maximum number of test cases all will pass so now see the code in c++ <coughs> sorry now see the same code i have converted in c++ and you can take the screenshot or if you want i can put in the comment section also so see same thing is here uh, if you are familiar with c++ just i have declared someone equals to zero and do, uh, remember one thing keep long long because answer could be large also so keep long long int because integer there could be problem and then take input n k then for loop is here again while loop is here again same thing i have written if else and then finally else and uh, all things are same basically and in that case we know we are we have c out instead of print and this is the all code okay so this was all about and uh, i hope it is clear but if you want at last i can make some more some uh, final remark so the logic was basically this one only let me take one fresh one 
सो लेट अस टेक सम टेस्ट केसेस लाइक वट टू से फोर टेन टू फाइव सिक्स फोर या टेक वन स्टार्टिंग इंडेक्स टेक वन एंडिंग वाई एम सेंग स्टार्टिंग एंडिंग बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट अरे सब अरे एंड सब अरे इज बेसिकली हैव वन स्टार्टिंग वन एंडिंग इट कुड बी फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर हियर टू हियर और हियर टू हियर सो वन स्टार्ट विल बी हियर वन एंड विल बी सो इनिशियली ऑल स्टार्ट एंड एंड विल बी सेम वी विल कीप वन सम वन नाउ वी हैव कलेक्टेड टू कॉइंस वी वॉन्टेड टेन सो वी वॉन्ट मोर कॉइंस सो फाइनल पॉइंटर आई विल मूव हियर कलेक्ट सम मोर कॉइन नाउ सम वन बिकेम सेवन सम वन बिकम सेवन स्टिल इट इज लेस देन के सो वी वॉन्ट मोर कॉइन नाउ दिस पॉइंटर विल मूव हियर इफ यू हैव लेस कॉइन मूव द फाइनल पॉइंटर दैट इज जे इफ यू हैव मोर कॉइन्स रिमूव द इनिशियल पॉइंटर दैट इज आई दिस इज द जनरल लॉजिक ओके सो नाउ बी कलेक्टेड अप टू हियर टू हियर so 2 plus 5 7 it was it is still less than 10 so we add more 6 so 7 plus 6 is basically 13 now from here to here we have some 13 but we wanted only 10 how it is possible if we lose some of the coin so now initial pointer will be removed the value of initial pointer so 13 minus 2 11 13 minus 2 11 and now initial pointer this has been removed so initial pointer will move here so initially this was the array now this array will be here from here now the sum is 11 now it is still it is greater than 10 so again we will remove initial pointer value of initial pointer so 11 minus 5 6 and now starting and ending both are here now starting and ending both here now if you see the number of gold coin is less and we told you if you have less coin move the right pointer or final pointer so we have less coin it means we want more coins so now this pointer will move here so now our new sub array will be from here to here so 6 plus 4 10 and once it become 10 print it so i hope it is clear this was sliding window question and uh, if you still have the doubt then uh, please go through the video and uh, if any part of the code you have any doubt any line of the code then you can write in the comment section and uh, c++ java uh, c++ python code i have discussed and for the java code i will put in the comment section so this was sliding window question and uh, you could get these types of question also so it is better and i have already discussed uh, uh, the uh, means uh, day 1 coding question also so go through it try to understand it try to solve maximum number of question and i will discuss all the questions of uh, coding also and uh, aptitude also verbal numerical and uh, reasoning also i will discuss so subscribe to the channel and share it to your friends also and uh, thank you thank you guys best of luck